Just your first impression. What do you see? A street, um, unpaved street. Your what? Unpaved street. Unpaved street, okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this street. What else oh. can you see? Children playing. Children playing. Mm hmm. How are these children dressed? Are they in modern day clothes? Or old clothes? What do they look like? Um, some with shoes, some without mm -hmm. dark hair. Dark hair? Mm -hmm. Shorts, no shirt. Mm -hmm. Plain. Do you feel that you have a body there? I'm looking. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I don't look in and try to figure out what is this. Okay, you don't have to figure it out. Just be there. Just look around you. This place where you are, do you feel that there, there are houses nearby? Look around. Or are you in the middle of, of a maybe a nature setting? See huts. Huts. I see, mm -hmm. I see made huts. Of straw. Made of straw. Very good. People moving and a lot of movement, a lot of activity. Mm -hmm. Trees around. Trees around. There's mm. a lot of activity. What kind of activity do you feel that's happening there? Is this normal everyday activity or is there something happening? Oh, everyday activity, mm -hmm. kids playing, people moving around, mm -hmm. just a lot of noise and a lot of movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The trees, there's a lot of trees. A lot of trees. How tall are these trees? Tall trees. Tall Beautiful. trees. Forest. Mm -hmm. Like trees. a forest. So these huts are in the forest? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's go down this road and see what we see. Can you move from where you are? Oh. Oh. What? Mm. Tell me what's going on. I'm in the hut inside. I'm in a hut inside. Mm hmm. What does it look like? Dark. Dark. Bed. A man there. A man there. Mm -hmm. Is this man an older man or a younger man? Like an Indian man. An Indian man. Mm -hmm. what do older. You mm -hmm. What do you think he's doing there? I don't know. He's just sitting there. Trying to figure out who I am. Mm -hmm. You don't have to figure it out. Why am I there? I don't know. I'm just looking at him and mm -hmm. he's looking at me. I don't know. All right. Don't analyze it. Just go with it. Just allow yourself to go. Let's see what else do we see there. What else do you see? Allow yourself to go to the next appropriate place. Tell me where you are. I don't know. I'm seeing a woman. I'm seeing a woman. Oh, thin, tall. Thin and tall. Dressing Indian clothes. Mm -hmm. Dark hair. I don't know if that's me or not. Young.
I don't know what's just feel heavy. Mm-hmm. Heavy. My body feels heavy. My body feels heavy. Mm-hmm. So let's al- allow yourself to feel yourself in that body. And as you acclimate to it, you'll be able to feel more and more of it. You'll be able to know what you look like. You could look down and see if you can see your feet. Moccasins. Moccasins. Mm-hmm. Braids. Braids. Dark. Tall. Well, you know. Heavy. Heavy. Mm-hmm. Heavy clothes. Heavy clothes. Mm-hmm. What are these clothes made out of, do you think? Leather. Mm-hmm. So they're heavy. I'm not... I'm not saying I'm heavy, I'm saying that clothes is heavy. Mm-hmm. And why do you feel you need these heavy clothes? <clears throat> oh, for the weather. For the weather. Mm-hmm. How does the weather feel around you? Cool. And do you feel that you're young or you're old there? Young. Young. About what age do you feel? Like 20s, maybe 20. 30s. Mm-hmm. So tell me more about your life there. What do you feel that you do there? I feel this man, older man is like my dad. Mm -hmm. And he has a lot of feathers. Um, like the, she's like important there. Mm -hmm. So connect with him and let's find out what it is that he does there. What is the significance of of this man in that in that place? I feel like he's like the chief. Mm-hmm. And I'm his daughter and he wants to marry me off to somebody there. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? I I am okay, I guess. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of kids running around and people. And mm-hmm. I hear the river. Is it nearby? Yes. Very good. I can see the... I love going to this river. It's so beautiful. I can see the water running and the rocks and a deer looking at me. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful place. Love the woods. Mm-hmm. This is mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell me what you're feeling. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm in the river and I see the light. Flames. I see the river and the plants. Mm-hmm. No, the flames. The flames. Something's happened. To Something's the, happened. Where I lived. What's happening? Flames. Somebody attacked, and I had to go for myself. I had to run and leave everything behind. So tell me what happens next. Running, 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 <laughs> running from the flames. Are you by yourself? myself. Mm-hmm. Where are you go? <laughs> All those people are dead. All the people are dead? <laughs> oh, I'm alone. alone. I'm alone and alone. I'm all alone? Mm-hmm. Yes. Alone. Nobody to run to. So where do you go? 
on my own in the woods. I'm scared. I'm so scared to be killed. <laughs> my dad, I love you, dad. <laughs> Nobody's to protect you. <laughs> I have to be courageous and be my own. You have to be courageous, yes. <laughs> it is so hard. I don't want to do. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> So tell me what happens next. I want you to close that scene. Close that scene behind you. <laughs> and let's see where you go now. I want you to advance. Oh my God. Advance forward to see what happens. Where are you? <sighs> in the meadow. I'm in the meadow. Mm -hmm. Looking for food. Looking for food. All alone. All alone. My heart's broken. All is gone. Nowhere to go. I'm lost. Don't know what to do. Where do I go? Who do I go to? I have no one. I'm by myself. Yet, I don't want to be close to people. I'm afraid they're going to kill me. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Move ahead and see what happens next. <sighs> I find another tribe. I find another tribe. They take me in. They're good to me. They're good to you? Mm hmm How do you feel there? Blessed. Blessed. Sad. Mm hmm All my good people are good. gone. I've got to go on. I can't stop. I've got to continue living. There's something good for me out there. And I know it. Well, tell me what happens in this place. Move to another significant time in that lifetime. I have children. Tell me I'm more about a good that. man. Mm -hmm. He's so good to me. I'm happy. I don't want to have too many kids. How many children do you have? Three. Don't want to have no more. Why is that? Fear they're going to be killed. Mm -hmm. They have to fight. They have to find food. They have to survive. I don't want to see them suffering. I don't want to fight. I don't want them to suffer. How are you feeling? I'm happy there. Mm -hmm. I love the woods. That's my home. Mm -hmm. I love those tall trees. It reminds you of home, doesn't it? Yeah, I like when the wind blows. And it brings those memories from my past. Mm -hmm. And I have to let go. It's difficult. I miss my dad. I miss my dad so much. 
the same dad I had here. <laughs> the same dad. Dad, I love you. <laughs> I miss him so much. I miss my dad. <laughs> here too. <laughs> Stay tired with my brothers. Mm -hmm. Let's look around in that tribe and see if there's anybody else that you recognize. <laughs> look at your husband and see if you recognize him. Look at your children and see if you recognize anybody. I'm trying to see them. Do they feel the same? I don't know. I think this husband that I have is the same one now, Jade. Mm -hmm. He loves me. He's a good man. He's a good man. He has good heart. Mm -hmm. Good. I know Saul is there somewhere. My brother, he's been with me for a long time. Mm -hmm. He's a good man. I don't know if he's one of my children. Take a look at your children. The eyes or the windows of the soul. I think Saul is my child. That's why I love him so much now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I think Javier is another one. And I have a girl. I don't know. Could be Caleb. Mm -hmm. Look into their eyes. It's the same eyes. I guess, yeah. Uh, he looks like Caleb, I don't think. I'm your, not sure. Your heart will know. Let's close that scene now. Let's move farther into that life, into the last day of your life. Move yourself forward and tell me where you are. I'm fine. Okay to go home. Mm-hmm. Where are you? I don't know. I think I'm in a cot there, you know, and I'm sick. I'm, it's time to go home. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing my dad. Mm-hmm. Who's with you now? My children are there. Mm-hmm. My husband, uh, older, but yes, he's there. And I want to go. I want them to let me go. I'm in pain. I don't want to live no more. What kind of pain do you have? Oh, I don't know. My head hurts. Uh, sure. Very good. I want to go home. All right. So take your last breath. And as you take your last breath, think about all of the things that have happened to you in that lifetime. Tell me what you're thinking about them. Separation. Mm -hmm. Death. Mm -hmm. I have to conquer. I have to be strong. I had to start new. I thought I couldn't do it. But you did, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were successful at it. Because I wanted to. Mm -hmm. I wanted to live. Very good. So go ahead and leave that body now and tell me where you go next. What happens to your body as you leave it? it stays behind. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. So now follow your soul's journey. And as you're leaving that body, tell me, what was the purpose of that body? What were you supposed to learn there? I 
have to let go. That was the reason why you you chose that that lesson、uh. to let go. Love never fades. Love never fades. It would always stay there, but sometimes we have to let go、mm-hmm. because there's other lessons we have to learn, and we have to conquer, and we have to know how strong we are. But sometimes we don't think we are, and the circumstances allows us to do it, or makes us do it, or. It shows us how strong we are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's showing you who you are.、Mm-hmm. The kinds of circumstances when you don't want to see inside, or you don't think you can do it. You know, those are the reasons why circumstances present themselves. Now, as you look at the life of Alma, how are you affecting Alma in this lifetime? How is that life? Affecting her, I guess it's a parallel. At the same time, you know, where I have to let go of the past. I have to go of my dad's gone, my first husband is gone, and I have to live this life now.、Mm-hmm. It's full of blessings,、mm-hmm. and I know it. What advice would you like to give Alma from your lifetime? Oh my God, I'm a conqueror, and I just don't know it. Go ahead and tell her everything that you need to tell her. She's she's been wanting to make some changes. She's been wanting to succeed. What would you like to tell her about well, that? Well, I hate to tell her, but she already knows.、Mm-hmm. Go ahead and tell her. I always tell her every day,、mm-hmm. and she knows it in her head. It's just that she needs to put it in her heart, because she knows what's the right thing to do. She knows what it is.、Mm-hmm. I tell her all the time. I talk to her every day, every day.、Mm-hmm. Are you her heart self? Yes.、Mm-hmm. Tell her the things that you tell her every day. Well, she's hard headed. And she had to explain and tell her every single day the same thing.、Mm-hmm. You can do it. You're a conqueror. You're strong. You're intelligent, knowledgeable. I give you so many blessings. You are blessed beyond, and you could be more blessed if you wanted to. It's up to you. Take it. It's right here. Grab it. What is she afraid of? Success. Mm-hmm. Why? Like no confidence. The lifetime that you showed her about this native woman. It seems like she lost everything in that fire, in that,、uh, in that war. With the other tribe, correct? Yes. Is that affecting her now? Yes.、Mm-hmm. Does she feel like she's going to lose things? Yes. Yes.、Mm-hmm. If she has it all, she's afraid to lose it all.、Mm-hmm. But you got to achieve it. You can't even achieve. You know, you have more shifts to make,、mm-hmm. and you will not lose it. It's there for you to enjoy this in this lifetime.、Mm-hmm. It's yours. God has given you so many blessings. She knows it.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, she knows it. I mean, good husband, good everything. I mean, there's nothing that she needs that she doesn't get.、Mm-hmm. And she seems to really be living almost a parallel life because she had to leave her tribe in that lifetime to be with a different tribe, and it seems that she's doing the same thing now. She was born in Mexico. And now she's living with a new tribe in the United States, with a husband. It's totally different. Yeah. What is she trying to learn by living this parallel life? Ah, 
you have to know that sometimes we have to let go of things that are dear to us. They have other paths to learn. And you've got to allow yourself to understand that you have your life to live. Mm -hmm. What's her purpose? Why did she come here this time? Why did she choose her life as Alma? It repeats itself, conquering. Conquering. Conquering challenges? Conquering change. Change, okay. Which is not easy for her. <laughs> Even though she thinks it is, but it is not. Mm -hmm. And there's been a lot of changes in her life lately. <clears throat> Including people? Including people, mm -hmm. which is horrifying to her and is making her so much unbalanced. It's bad for her body and soul. Why is she having so many challenges with her relationships? She's gravitating to a different vibration. Mm -hmm. And the vibrations are not in the same synchrony. Mm -hmm. And she just has to let go, even though it hurts. What is the major lesson that we need to focus on right now for Alma? Conquer. <laughs> to conquer. And he shouldn't do it. It's just, uh, she needs a push. <laughs> Would you give her that push now? Yes. And as you're listening to Alma on the other side, probably, what is, what conversation are you having with her? Oh, I know she's hard on herself too much. Mm -hmm. so let it flow. Let it be. Things will work out. That's why I brought you here to Texas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Difficult at the beginning, but you know, it's all is a lesson and you know, all is good. I got you. I got your back. Very good. What does she need to know to do to grow more spiritually? I already told her. <laughs> Meditate. What else? Relax. Is she relaxing? She seems to be going a mile a minute. Oh yeah. No, she's not relaxing, of course not. <laughs> no. She needs to get it work with that anxiety. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Can we? Can you help her with that today? Yes, mm -hmm. she needs. To, she needs a lot of help with that. Mm -hmm. So allow, allow that to flow through her that relaxation, so she could feel it. <sighs> allow her to feel what it feels like to be totally relaxed. Mm hmm. Tell me what it is that's causing those little jumps. I don't know. It's anxiety. Mm -hmm. Would you allow me to to talk to that anxiety? Yes. Mm -hmm. So if the light will permit it, I'm going to scan her body with my hands. And I'm going to bring it up from her feet. And tell me where it is that she's feeling that anxiety. Where is it coming from? Where is it residing? Mm. Uh. My stomach. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me bring that, that anxiety, bring it up. And as I bring it up, I'm going to ask you to just express yourself. Express yourself. Tell me, how long have you been there with Alma? Forever. Forever? That's a long time. Yeah. Mm hmm. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. Tell me a little bit about yourself. How old are you? 
49. And what may I call you? Pete. Pete. Pete, how is it that you found Alma? Fear. Fear? Fear of what? Losing things. Losing things? Did you lose things? Because if she... She was afraid of losing something you must have been afraid at one time. What did you lose? Everything. Everything. Tell me, Pete, how did you lose your, your body? In a fire. In a fire. Where was this? Where did you live? England. England. What year is it for you there? 1700s. 1700s? Much from 1748. Mm-hmm. 1748. Pete, what is it that you did there? Shoemaker. A shoemaker. So how was it that you... How did this fire begin? My shop. Your job? My shop. Shop. Your shop caught on fire? Mm-hmm. Were you able to... Trying to get every... I didn't want to lose my things that I work with. Mm-hmm. So I trying to stop the fire and not attachments that I had, I mm -hmm. lost my life. Okay. So what happened after you lost your life? You should have gone to the light back no. home. What happened to you? I stay around. Mm-hmm. So you've been around for a long time, Pete. Of course, yeah. Mm-hmm. So how did you find Alma? Running. Running. Fearful. Mm-hmm. She has fear. Fear mm -hmm. of the dark. Fear of the dark. Fear of being alone. Mm-hmm. Is that because of you? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Has she been able to feel you, or are you attached to her body? I'm with her. You're with her. Okay. So what else have you caused her? What are the symptoms besides that? Anxiety. Mm-hmm. Depression. Self, low self-esteem. Everything that is not good. Why is that? Why do you cause her all of these things? Because mm, I'm bad. Mm, I don't think you're bad. I guess because I have it. Mm, okay. Pete, do you feel good about mm, no, about this? Of course not. Mm -hmm. Would you like for her to forgive you for all of this? Yeah, of course. Because yes. it's, it's not... It's, you know, I've always heard, Pete, that every obnoxious act is a cry for help. Mm. You've been pretty obnoxious, haven't you? causing her some havoc in her body. Mm -hmm. Are you the only one there, or are there others with you? <clears throat> Have you attracted any others like you? Yeah, the hard-headedness, mm -hmm. yes. Is yeah. that you, or somebody else? Oh, there's my my partner there, too. What's his name? Gus. Gus? That's his name? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll speak to Gus in a minute, but Pete, we need to work on you. Every soul has an evolution. That is, when we lose a body, we go back home, back to the light. I want you to look inside of yourself and find that spark of light, the divine light. Can you see it? Yeah, barely there. Mm -hmm. We need to fill that light. We need to fill you up with light. I'm going to ask my angels of the light to come and help you. They're all love. They're going to come surround you, Pete. I want you to see them coming around and feel their love. How does that feel? Warm. Mm-hmm. 
Like, that's just the beginning, Pete. You feel them filling you up? That warmth of, of, the, of their influence? Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, we're going to fill you up with lots of love. But, Pete, I want to first get rid of all of that feeling that you've had. Would you allow me to do a little exercise for you? Yes. All right. I'm going to put my hand on your chest, Pete. I'm going to put my hand here, and I want you to give me all of those feelings that you've been feeling all of this time. <sighs> all of that anger, all of that pain. Tell me everything that's coming out. <laughs> Feel it coming out. <sighs> oh. Allow it to come out. All of that remorse. Not being able to save your life, save your shop, save everything that you loved. Not being able to go back home. Give that all to me. And tell me when it's all out. Okay. Right, try and take it oh, away now? Yes, please. I'm going to take that away and send it up to the universe to be healed. Now, Pete, in that space, such a big space, what would you like me to fill it with? With love. Let's put a big fire hose of love in there. Allow it to fill you. Feel that divine light coming in, all that love. Allow it to fill you. Mm. Feel yourself getting brighter and brighter with that divine light of love. The light of the Creator. Pure love. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? That feels more peaceful. Mm -hmm. Let's seal that. I'm going to touch your forehead and have that sealed in there. What else would you like to put in that space? Letting go of the past. All right, well, let's let go of the past. Let's take all that out. Let's take all that out. Let's. What do you want to put instead? Courage. Lots of courage. Let's put lots of courage in there and seal it. What else would you like to put in there, Pete? Peacefulness. Lots of peace. Lots of peace. Anything else that would make you whole? Are you complete? Very good. All right. So, would you like for Alma to forgive you for all of this, now that you're feeling at peace? Yes. All right, let me speak with Alma. Alma, what would you like to say to Pete? Do you forgive him? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can you send him with love to back to the light? Yeah. All right, go ahead and tell him. Go to the light. Mm-hmm. Allow him to go with love, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Send him lots of love. All right, let me speak with Pete. Pete, do you feel that forgiveness from her? Yes, I mm -hmm. want to go home. Yeah. All right, so before you do, I want you to detach from her whole body every influence that you have in there. Go ahead and pull that out. And Alma, I want you to pull it from the roots. Tell me what it mm -hmm. looks like. What does it look like inside having Pete there? Not good. Okay, describe it for me. What does it look like? A big like? slob of darkness. A big slob of darkness. So I want you to go ahead and from your side, from inside, I want you to go ahead and start cutting out <sighs> all of that sludge and Pete go ahead and take that out pull all that sludge out like a vacuum cleaner pull it all out suck it out and tell me Pete when you have it all yes okay very good I'm gonna ask my Archangel Michael to come now Pete go ahead and grab his hand he's gonna take you with you with him to the light and I'm gonna have the angels escort you and when you get to the light, tell me if you see anybody that you know there. My wife is there. Your wife is there. Give her a beautiful hug and embrace. May the light of the universe always accompany you, Pete. Thank you very much. And now I'm going to ask the other influence that has been with Alma all this time to express itself. Gus? How are you today, Gus? Mm. How long have you been there with Alma? Mm. 
Mm. Oh, a long time. A long time. Mm -hmm. And what were the circumstances in which you found Alma? How did you... How did you find her? What was going on with her? Oh, sadness. Sadness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Were you very sad, Gus? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happened to your body? I died young. You died young. How old are you? Child. Mm -hmm. how, old are, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old. You're a little boy, Gus. Mm -hmm. How did you die? Got sick. Mm -hmm. Where did you live? Poor. You were poor? Mm hmm. Do you know what country you lived in? Ireland. Ireland. Mm hmm. So, what year is it for you there, Gus? 1800s. early 1800s. The early 1800s. Did you know this woman before? Did you know her soul? Yes, we were friends. We were friends. Okay, tell me about that. We ran around together. Mm hmm Who was she then? He. He. Who was he? Orphan like me. He was an orphan like you. So you knew each other? Yes. And what happened? What happened to you? Begging. You were begging? Was he a beggar too? Mm hmm Gus, what was his name at that time? Do you remember? Ian. Ian? Ian. Mm-hmm. We were poor. You were poor. We were beggars. Mm-hmm. So why did you choose to follow Ian into this life? Missed her. Mm. Missed him. Mm-hmm. I found her. How did you find her? One day she was sad. Mm-hmm. And I recognized her his soul. Mm-hmm. I missed my friend. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be with him. Mm hmm So you've been with Ian Alma for a long time, haven't you? Mm-hmm. What have you caused her in this lifetime? Insecurities. Insecurities. What kind? Money? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Gus, Gus, she's been very successful and very abundant her whole life. Yeah, she well, was too, and the other one. Mm-hmm. She always has. Always, he was too. Mm-hmm. In Ireland. So why are you sabotaging her life now with insecurities? Because I couldn't get to that place. Mm. I wanted to be like him. Mm-hmm. What was he in that life? He became successful. Mm. He yeah. got out of poverty. What did he do in that life? Real estate. Mm. Wonderful. Gus, is there anything that you would like to tell Alma now before you go to the light? I miss you. I love you. I miss running around together. I don't want to leave you, because I miss you. Gus, is there anyone else that you loved before you became an orphan? I never knew my parents. My aunt left me. Mm -hmm. They did not treat me well. I had to go in the streets. And I met him, and he was so good to me. He has a good soul. Mm -hmm. He was my good friend. And I loved him. Gus, there are others that love you. Do you know that? You have the love of your creator. Yeah. 
I know. I just miss my friend. Mm-hmm. Well, you've been with your friend for a long time now. Are you ready to go home now? Now that you've spent all this time? I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, we want you to go home with enthusiasm. Gus, I want you to do something for me, just to let you know where you're going to. I want you to go up through her crown chakra right here, and I'm going to have the angels escort you up to the light, and I want you to just go up there and see who's waiting for you. I don't want you to stay. I want you to come back, but I want you to just see who's there. Let me give her a hug just mm -hmm. one more time. All right, give her a hug. <laughs> <laughs> give her a hug. Would you like me to help you with that? Go ahead and give her a big, strong hug. Give her a strong hug. We were together for so long. Mm -hmm. Give her a big hug. It's hard to let go. I know. That's why she has so much problems letting go of people. Because mm -hmm. you were influencing, weren't you? Mm -hmm. You were holding her. Attaching her to everything. <sighs> Gus, go up and to the light, and I want you to see who's there. I'm not letting you go yet. My mother? Mm-hmm. How does it feel to see your mom there? Good. She loves me. Yeah, she's waiting for you. Before you go, Gus, I want you to allow me to help you. Would you allow me to help you and let go of all of these feelings before you go? Yes, please. All right, I'm going to put my hand on your chest. I want you to give me all of those feelings that you felt of not being able to <sighs> succeed in life, of begging, of being abandoned, not knowing what was going to happen to you next, of not having your friend in life to be able to be with. <sighs> Give me all of that, all of that remorse, all of the regrets that you had, of living a life that was so hard. Give it all to me. And tell me when you can release it. Oh, you yeah. released it? All right. Let's get that and let's take it up to the universe. Now, Gus, what would you like to fill that space with now before you go see your mom? I want you to go light as a feather. <laughs> what would you like to put in there, in your heart? Of course, always number one is love. Let's put lots of love mm -hmm. in there. Put lots of love in there. Fill it. Fill yourself with all of that light from the universe. Feel yourself getting brighter and brighter with that love. Love of the Creator. Pure, pure love. And let's seal that. What else would you like to put in there? I'm complete. You're complete. Beautiful. What would you like to tell Alma before you go? I'll see you. Mm-hmm. And Alma, what would you like to tell little Gus? I love you too. Mm-hmm. Bye, my friend. All right. So, Gus, I want you to go up through her crown. Archangel Michael is waiting for you. Can you see him? He should be there. Mm -hmm. All right. Take him by the hand and just go straight up to the light. Oh, yeah. How does that feel? <sighs> Free. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, Gus, as you see... Alma, from where you are, take a look at her body and see if there's any other influences in her body. It should be all white. Mm. Do you see anything there? My friend is beautiful. She's beautiful, isn't she? Yeah. Send her light. Send I'll her be with light. you. I'll be with you. I'll take care of you. Mm -hmm. Send her light from the universe. Mm -hmm. Fill her completely from head to toe with that beautiful white light. Seal her completely so that she doesn't she doesn't feel susceptible anymore to these influences. Close her up. Seal every place that you see. And tell me when you're done, Gus. Mm. I'm doing it out of love. Send her all that love. Fill mm -hmm. her completely. Seal every place that you see where Gus, where you were and where Pete was. <clears throat> Make sure all that area is full of light. Mm. How does it feel? Oh, yeah. Very good. Gus, may the light of the universe accompany you. Enjoy your life with the Creator back home. Thank you very much. Let me speak with the higher self again. 
I feel clean. Very good. So how did that how did that change what she's been feeling now? Well, it's going to change. Very good. Can you give her a hint of how that could help her now? Oh, yeah, she will be more I hate to use the word assertive, mm -hmm. but um, more confident, I should say. Yes. And she knows she's she has it all in there. There's it's all waiting to come out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the intelligence, the knowledge, it's just you know grab it and it's there. I mean, it's she's always been successful in mm -hmm. her life. She's always conquered. And now that she's free and light, and full of love and. Yeah, my body feels light, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is she going to be able to connect with other people now that are more soul-minded? She said that she missed those people from Ohio that mm. she connected with. You know, things take time and uh, people will come to her life in the right time, in the right moment. Um, uh, the right group of people will come to her life. Mm -hmm. And she'll be having a good time here. Very good. So she doesn't need to worry about going out and finding them. They'll find her. Yeah, well, you know, there's always, you know, um, there's always, how you say it? Um, I'm always putting things in her uh, uh, path mm -hmm. where she knows where to turn. Yes. She just needs to go with her feeling, gut feeling. Mm hmm and intuition yes and she will find the way what she needs to do in the next step of life perfect perfect and you'll you'll guide her to those spiritual places where she's she, always been guided <laughs> she just listen, needs to listen right yes Very go good. with it yes good who's guiding her besides her higher self does she have guides yes mm -hmm. can you tell her about them there's several mm -hmm. Anyone in particular that's working with her now? It's a male. Mm -hmm. um, her dad has a lot of influence. Yes. I mean, always there. Yes. She, he loves her so much. Mm -hmm. It's does, always been there. Does her dad have anything to say to her today? Would he like to connect with her today? I miss you. Mm -hmm. And I love you. You know that I always have loved you so much because we've been connected for so many lifetimes. And our souls are very close, tied together. Mm -hmm. Julio, why did you choose to leave so early? It was my time. Mm -hmm. Had to go. Have you been helping the family this whole time? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've, they've always thought that uh, maybe your grandson was you, an aspect of you. Are you influencing him or has he reincarnated as you? No, he's his own self. He's his own self. Caleb is his own self. Yes. His dad is with him and I love my grandson mm -hmm. very much. I took care of him when he was young and he's one of the ones that I spend more time with. Mm -hmm. I love all my grandsons and all my grandkids. Um, he just has a special sp space in my soul because we're connected and uh, I love all of them mm -hmm. but you know Caleb, I there's a special bond. Mm -hmm. Do you have a message for him today? I am with him and I will, I always help him in the decisions that he makes. Mm -hmm. um, his dad is also with him at all times. Um, he has a great soul and uh, will help him along the way, along the path. There's, you know, uh, he's young and has a lot to learn and to go. Uh, but we'll be there, right there mm -hmm. beside him at, at all times. Mm -hmm. Julio, did you go directly to the light? I stayed around with my children. I, I love my children, mm -hmm. my wife, um, and then I, I went to see my mom. Mm, good, good. 
Does she have any influence on, on the family? Even though my mother didn't meet anyone of uh, my children, mm -hmm. she loves all of them. And yes, she helps them out too. Very good. Very good. Is there anything Alma would like to tell her dad now? Yes, Dad, I love you and I miss you. And I thank you for, I know that you're with me in a lot of my times of need. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate you and I feel you a lot. And I know that you're always by my side. And I feel very blessed to have you. Holy, you have anything to say back to her? She knows already, yeah. <laughs> she knows that I'm there with her. Good, good. Well, thank you very much, Julio. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you. Now, to her higher self, anybody else that she needs to know about? Any other guides that are helping her? Oh, well, several of us are with her. Mm -hmm. How many yeah. guides does she have? Four. Four. Mm -hmm. Do they have names? Mm. Can't see the names. Mm. Okay. Do they have any particular lights or colors? I know one is purple. Mm -hmm. Is it a very advanced one? He's most mm -hmm. advanced, and that's what she sees mostly yes. and when she closes her eyes. Mm. Okay. He's the main, main one. The main guide. Okay. Good. Is there a reason why he has been around her? What's what's his um, purpose for being around her at this time? Oh, for her anxiousness, which now she shouldn't have. Right. Um, yes. Um, yeah, her mind goes 100 miles an hour, so, you know, mm -hmm. have to step in and calm her down. Mm-hmm. We should be able to take care of that now without without Pete and Gus. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. uh, she should be more at ease. Very good, very good. Well, I'd like to thank her guide on her behalf for all of the wonderful work that he's doing. She says that she's right now uh, working on something at work. She has a test that she has to do. And she's very anxious about that test. Can you tell her about this, this test? Why is she feeling so anxious about it? Mm. That was the thing, you know, that she had that situation with that energy mm -hmm. of uh, not being able to succeed. Yes. It's, it's not in her anymore. It's gone, you know. Okay. It's, it's just go with it. It's, it will be fine. The fear is gone. You should not be worried about those things in life. Is she, is she supposed to retire from this career that she's doing? She wants to, yeah. Okay. So is there anything it's up to her? It's up to her. There's nothing holding her back. No. Okay. Can you tell her why she's so forgetful now? Age. <laughs> you know, it's uh, she doesn't try enough. She doesn't try enough. No, she's she's lazy. She's getting lazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, what about not being able to articulate more? Mm -hmm. Her communication skills. What's causing her to not be able to speak her mind correctly? Uh, again, I was like I said, it's the uh, fear of success. Mm -hmm. If she wanted to, she could do it. It's all in her mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you help her with that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do a little rewiring. Exactly. Okay. That's what she needs. Okay. Um, because her doubt is killing her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you can begin working on rewiring her mind so that she remembers who she truly is, the intelligent being that she is, 
remember that she has been successful. Exactly. Has been able to conquer very, very difficult situations. That even in times of doubt, she was always guided. She's a blessed spirit. Mm -hmm. Would you seal that so that she remembers that all the time? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. We talked about her doing what she loves to do, but is there any spiritual things that she should be doing also? Besides nursing, if she wants to do it, she can. Mm -hmm. It's all what she wants to do. You know, she can accomplish. Mm -hmm. She wants to do something spiritually. I'm there to help her out. Okay, it's what she wants to do. She's taught. She's uh, taken Reiki before. Is that something that she should practice? Uh, she should practice with herself first. Okay, and then with others. Um. I will guide her. Okay. Okay. And and may I ask um, to have the guides that that work with this um, with with this energy to help her also? Any particular guides that you could send to her <sighs> that are masters in this? That when she is working with it, that they can show up. They will come. Excellent. Should she ask for them before she, she does anything? Like I ask before I start my session. Yes. Mm hmm Good. So we're going to have her ask also when she takes the test. Exactly. Mm hmm Before yeah. she starts the test, to ask for those guides that will uh, give her peace of mind, mm -hmm. that will help her remember everything. Mm -hmm. And she'll do fine. And she will do fine. Perfect. Is there anywhere that she needs to be right now? Besides where she is? She is where she's supposed to be right now. Mm -hmm. If there's a change, we'll let her know. Okay. She'll be guided. Like we guide, we, when we guide her from Ohio to over here, mm -hmm. that's the same thing. You know, things... She's always been guided, and she yeah. knows it when she needs to, you know, move on. Mm -hmm. She knows it, and uh, she needs to uh, follow her intuition. Yeah. And she has good intuition, but she doesn't um, uh, give it enough um, thought or... Um, she just doesn't go with it. She doesn't go with it. Okay. She's, she doubts a lot. Yeah. Well, it seems that a lot of people have trouble letting go when they have to uh, all of a sudden rip themselves out of a place where they had friends and family. What would you what would, what would you say about something like that when people have to leave a place? It's a new path and a new opportunity we're giving you. Mm -hmm. And um, you will find all the blessings eventually, you know, when you get there, you'll see the whole picture. Mm -hmm. And it's difficult to um, see it at the beginning. Uh, but the circumstances will give themselves out mm -hmm. where you have to do what needs to be done because this is what the path you have chosen. chosen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I need to move you around, I will move you. <laughs> and you will know the timing. Um, and you'll feel good about it. I mean, mm -hmm. things and your husband will go for it. Yeah. Yeah. It seems everybody is in that, including myself, <laughs> where we all have a hard time letting go. And moving on. Um, would you do a body scan on her and see what what you find? Oh, right now, finally, the my feet and my and the are uh, feel warm finally. Mm -hmm. And what's causing the warmth? Oh, that was a bad circulation that you know, feet and 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 hands. Mm -hmm. Um. Very weak bladder. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's causing that? Fallen. Mm-hmm. Well, I know that the higher self can repair anything, being that the body is not not totally solid. 
Would you start working on that bladder now? Yeah, I just, it's very full right now. Mm -hmm. Does she need to take a break in order to continue? <laughs> yes. All right. We are speaking with the higher self. We were talking about her bladder. Would you send some energy that way so that she can feel the difference as you begin the reparation of her bladder? And just tell her what type of energy you're using, if it has a color. Green. Green. Beautiful. Let me know when you're done, or if I can continue while you're still doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else did you find besides her bladder? Oh. Her high blood pressure due to her anxiety. Mm -hmm. If she now continues to be in a more relaxing lifestyle, mm -hmm. uh, blood pressure would subside. Very good. So the indicator of the blood pressure was just the fact that she um, was it her state of mind or was it peaked? Oh, uh, both. And Gus. <laughs> Part mm -hmm. is uh, who she is, you know, very um, high energy mm -hmm. soul. Yes. Um, excited, and it's, she's very, she's uh, just uh, uh, overflowing. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes the body can't take that. <laughs> Can you give her some tips on how to control that a little bit better? Because it's nice to be high energy and excited and overflowing, but how can the body keep up with it? Um, more um, smaller amounts at a time, mm -hmm. not all at one time, and it's difficult for her to do that. Because mm -hmm. uh, personality, is that's her soul. Mm -hmm. um, well, she's, she's, a, she's a conqueror, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, she's very high energy and mm -hmm. full of life, full of... Mm -hmm. And she goes with, a, with all her intent. Mm -hmm. And the body can take that... Um, it takes all her energy out. Yes. And it, um, and it messes up her heart. Mm -hmm. um, so... Think about it when, you know, yes, it's good, but at the same time, you got to have a balance. Okay. So should she be spending more time meditating and t time maybe in in nature or things like that? I don't want to, you know, change who she is. Yes. Because it's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's just uh, maneuvering the, that uh, energy into a different way mm -hmm. where it does not affect her body okay and uh, yes um, I think that's why she loves trees because yeah. she misses that part of life that she had at one time um, it was a very significant life yeah for her and a lot of the roots problems that she inc brought with her to this life um, and those are the things that she's trying to work in this lifetime. Yeah. Well, she had said something like fear of rejection and conflict. Does that have to do with that lifetime? Or or could that have rejection been Rejection was, no. Um, conflict, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, rejection, yeah, that was when um, 
Uh, she used to be a beggar. A beggar. Mm -hmm. And the rejection of being poor. Yes. Um, that's why she always wants to be successful because yes. she cannot get to that point again in her life. Mm -hmm. No, it's not going to happen. And the conflict? Conflict with all the other um, fighting tribes and mm -hmm. um, and how everybody got killed yeah. except her. She ran. Mm -hmm. And that's where the conflict, um, a fear that comes with it now mm -hmm. at this time. What about the fear of being alone? Was that Pete? Scaring her? Uh, she brought it? some of it when she ran and spent some time by herself okay. in the woods, in the okay. dark, alone. Is that why she's afraid of animals? Um, she was afraid of the animals, you know, to come and eat her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How can she make peace with that now? Yeah, she has to work on that. Mm hmm What would you suggest? Meditating and um, letting go okay. of the past. Mm hmm It's not here no more. Because she seems to not even like even thinking about animals. Is that how she survived in that in that time? In the woods, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was she had to even... kill them to eat. Yeah. And she didn't want to kill her. Mm -hmm. She had to do what she had to do. Mm -hmm. So then, she has a conflict in this life mm -hmm. now with the animals. Yeah. Can we, can we take that from her? Uh, yes, she wants, to, she wants to get freed of that. All right. Would you allow me to, to unload her of that burden? Yes. All right. So... Alma, I'm going to put my hand on your chest. I want you to fill it with all of those feelings that you have about those animals. <gasps> the fear of being eaten by them. The fear of not surviving because of them. And of all of the, felt, the feelings that you had about mm. having to kill them in that lifetime. Give them all to me. You don't need that burden in this lifetime anymore. Give them all to me. Allow me to release that. And let me take that away. Let me take that away. Now in that space that you have vacant, let's put the love of animals. Oh. Feel all of that feeling of camaraderie with them, knowing that all of them have children just like you do. They love their, their offspring, their mothers, just like you, who love their children. When you look at an animal, you can see the face of a mother or a father in them, the love that they have, the companionship. And they all are here to help the earth. They're just like you. You could feel the love that they give you because they're here to balance the earth, to send you love, to balance the violence. Allow yourself to feel their love. Mm. When you see an animal, you don't have to be part of their life, but you can send them love and feel their love. All right. So feel that and let's seal that. And just take a deep breath and just fill yourself with that love that comes from the animal kingdom. And as her higher self, how can you see that now changing her life? Yeah, she'll be able to pet the animals and hold them. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Can you see anything else health related? She was talking about her joints. Why did they ache so much? Position. Mm. Is this a body position? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's going on with that? She knows already. I mm -hmm. told her. Mm -hmm. uh, at work, you know, she does a lot of computer, and it's just one, one uh, position, eight hours. Mm -hmm. She needs to move around. 
She needs to exercise. What kind of exercise do you recommend? Yoga. Mm-hmm. Mm. Any exercise is good, you know. It's yes. stretching and uh, walking. and She needs to do that more because um, her body needs it desperately. Good. Would you uh, help her out today by flooding those joints with lubricant so that she can begin doing her exercise? Yes. Very good. Are you going to eliminate the joint pain or is she going to feel it if she doesn't exercise? Well, you know, if she continues with that same position, you know, of course, you know, mm -hmm. body's a body. Mm -hmm. So she needs to um, continue um, working in her body because it's She's just borrowing this body. It's good. not forever, so mm -hmm. she needs to work it out. Good, good. Why has she gained so much weight? It's the change, change of um, hormonal. Mm -hmm. And um, she doesn't exercise as much. Mm -hmm. She eats more mm -hmm. or the same. Mm -hmm. Um, and she knows already that she needs to uh, cut on her portions. Mm -hmm. uh, she's aware. And I think that would take care of it, you know, it's just portion control. Yeah. Anything that um, she needs to eat more of or less of? No, you know, and I think one of the reasons that she doesn't like meat is because of the experience mm -hmm. prior, mm -hmm. um, which is okay. Uh, she eats well. She eats well. Very mm -hmm. good. Very good. She also talked about hair loss. Why was she losing her hair? Anxiety. Mm -hmm. Stress. Does she still have that? It's getting better now. Mm -hmm. Would you continue to work on her so that she can grow her hair back? She has a lot of hair. <laughs> So she doesn't have to worry about the hair loss? No. Very good. Depression and anxiety. Well, that was part of the attachments. Yeah, Pete and Gus. And also the circumstances that she puts herself in. Mm -hmm. Not letting go. So let go. Let go and move on? Let go and move on and life will take care of itself. Very good. So as you enjoy that beautiful sensation, I'm going to count from one to five, and with each number you'll be waking up more and more. And when I get to five, you'll open your eyes and wake up with complete control of your mind and your body. Very happy about this experience. Five, wide awake now, wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. How do you feel? Good. Good? Yes. So what do you think? It's too close to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what do you remember for the session? Oh, I remember everything. Yeah. What's yeah. the most? What's the most uh, impactful one? The, the what you remember? What really hit it home? Yeah, it's the uh, you know, the woman, the mm -hmm. Indian woman. You felt that with your heart and soul. That's hard. Mm -hmm. To see my dad gone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's hard. How long do you feel you were in this session? Oh, probably uh, two hours long. <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> One hour and a half? I don't know. An hour and a half. An hour, hour and a half. half. Uh, I know, it's, it's been a while. So how do you feel? I feel good. What do you feel? Uh, how did you feel about Gus and, and Pete? Oh, gosh, that's weird. Pretty weird, huh? Yeah. I don't even know why I say those words. <laughs> it's like, am I making this up? Oh you always, people always say that. Yeah, it's so weird. Why would you make that up? I don't know. You know, that's that's the whole thing about hypnosis. People always say, it's, you yeah. know, I think I made that up. It's like, well, why would you make that up? I don't know. Where does that come from? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's but you, feel, you felt pretty good. Your higher self was very, very informative. Came in right away. Yeah. Came in talking. So... Is this something you want to share with others? Oh, I don't know if it's important. Cut out all the private 
There's not very much private, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, there was not really much that I said that was, you know, out of, you know, that nobody cares. <laughs> so, you know, I really don't want to do my phone to see it, though. I don't know. Let me think about it. We can always cover your face if you feel uncomfortable. There's nothing in yeah. there. Yeah, it's nothing. I know, but I was crying. I'm That's good. Crying. That's good. That means you were in hypnosis. I know. I'm just like that. Was I mean? How did you find me? How did you find yeah, me? Yeah, the internet. Right. Mm -hmm. And did that affect you and make you want to come here? Yeah. So, don't you think that this would affect somebody and want to come here? Exactly. No. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You can. You know. I don't want them to see my face over crying. Right. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they live for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You know, and um, making all those little skirts. I don't know why that was like my body was like so weird. Mm -hmm. That was Pete. That was Pete jumping around. As soon as you were jumping around, that's what. That's it. That was Pete. Pete. God. Incredible, huh? <laughs> the shoe. The shoemaker. I think he's a shoemaker. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. I don't even know why I said that. Anyway, yeah, that was it's so wild, you know, then and then being orphaned and being orphaned. Well well Gus was the one who told you about that one. About yeah, uh, that was sad. Ian or whatever his name is. Ian. Ian, right? Yes. Can you say the name? Mm-hmm. Ian. Interesting. Oh. And Ian became very successful. Which again proves that you are very successful. In whatever yeah. you do, as yeah. as that Indian woman that that uh, lost everything and started from scratch again. I mean, she lost everything. Yeah, it was really hard. And she started from scratch. And as I am, he he was a beggar, an orphan, and he became successful. So I know this is who you are. I'm just thinking now, you know, about that uh, man talking to me. Yeah, he was telling me about that. You know that I was, you know, that we're gonna be. Some problems going on, mm -hmm. and even though he wanted me to get married, you know, I was had to leave. Yeah, it was it was you know something was coming, and I didn't understand it. Your now. dad, right? Your yes. dad was wanting you to get married, but at the same time, you know, there, there was a lot of problems coming in, yes. and he was talking about that. Right now, I'm just it just came. To yeah, me. and what that's else why was he saying? What What else was he telling you? Well, yeah, you know, they had some problems, and you know, and things were coming, and they were gonna have to fight, and mm -hmm. and you know. And at that moment, I had to, you know, for some reason, I, that was my refuge out there in the river. Mm -hmm. And then you had to was go. Killed. Everyone, but you. Yeah, because I was not there at that. Mm -hmm. Do you moment. feel that he led you out of there? That he. I think he was, you know, he knew and he loved me so much, and somehow or other, you know, it, mm -hmm. he pushed you out to to go. Somewhere well, else. Uh, that was a place where I used to go just mm -hmm. to be alone. Mm -hmm. And it was the right moment for me, and it's the one how that's how I escaped and just to see everybody that I loved and knew had to let go is and that's why I'm so attached to people here yeah. because you lost them before yes and I love them so much and they don't understand my love mm -hmm. but you were with them before and you saw them there you saw some of them mm -hmm. and as you watch this over and over again and you you're reminded of it you're gonna remember more of the story because yeah. just like you're remembering more of the story now it because, makes sense. You know, kind of it yeah, you couldn't communicate it then, but it was, it it just came out. Yeah, interesting, huh? And I had two husbands then, and now I have two husbands too. Here. Yes. Wow. No, why didn't? No, have you didn't husband. have a, No, you had your dad. I had, I had my dad, but I had somebody that was supposed to get yes. married or no, yes. something, something like that. Yes. I had somebody that I loved, you know, or right. To that effect, and it didn't work out, but. The other one worked out very well. As you're talking about it, do you feel that that husband would have been a husband here? Maybe the first one, yes. Mm -hmm. That maybe he, he was a warrior. This first husband, Caleb's dad. Mm -hmm. you know, he was a warrior. He was a fighter. Mm -hmm. He was. Do you feel that maybe he? That's he was the what? first one, and he, you know, he, he got killed. Fought and he got killed. He got killed. Yes. I so it's all falling into place. Now. Yeah. And the other one was. It's more. Peaceful and yes. not as you, know. you went to a peaceful tribe, right? Yes. Yeah, the other one was a warrior, and that's what I was in the first, my first part of my life. And this was more of a, you know, more peaceful. And your higher self says you're a conqueror. And that's what you do. 
So, yeah. I mean, life takes me this way. And you've always been like that. So you'll see that. At the beginning, it's like, you know, a lot of, and then at the end, I'm kind of more of a settled in, mm -hmm. that I had to conquer a lot. Yes. And still conquering, you know, uh, now it's relationships, which is difficult, but, you know, this will help me just let go and know that, you know, I'm in a good place. And like you say, you know, I have to send love and give love. Mm -hmm. And whatever happens, happens. You know, it's it's not about me. It's it's live it to the universe, because mm -hmm. as long as I'm in peace with my soul, that's what matters. You have to do. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And all this in peace, and I know that things will work out. Excellent. So it was worth it. Oh yeah, definitely. For me coming all this way. Gosh, I know. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's like wow. So let me turn on the lights. So we good to be with you. All right. So here we are. We're a little tilted here, but we're. Uh, in Dallas, Texas, yes. came to Dallas uh, to be with uh, Alma's uh, put together this group, and uh, you had a great, very emotional session, mm -hmm. and fast, went in real fast. So you recommend this? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Of course. And so, uh, if you would like a session with me, just go to my website, almawyman.com, just like Alma did, and uh, book your session with me, either in Miami or maybe around the country. So. We'll see you to next time. <laughs> Bye.